Scary bonus XP hits RuneScape this weekend, so behind the scenes went in search of bonus XP tips from the JMods and spoke to Mod Mark to find out what's new this time around. Double XP weekend starts this Saturday. Um, it starts at 12 o'clock British Standard Time, so that's the UK time, the time that we use on the forums, and will end at 12 o'clock midday on Monday the 29th of October. To make sure you've got yourself nice and ready for Double XP Weekend, we've got a whole bunch of suggestions and tips from the people who make the game and also from some of our loyal fans from the forums. Hi, Mod Steve W here with my top tips for the Bonus XP Weekend. For those people who are training combat and using degradable items such as barrow sets, make sure to repair them well ahead of the weekend so you know they're good to go for the whole period. Before bonus XP weekend, know what you want to train. That way then you won't be wasting time gathering resources when you could be busy training. My tip for herb lore. Make sure you add your herbs to the vials before the event and that way you only have to add the secondary so you maximise on your XP. So this time we've tried to include as many things as we possibly can. We've, uh, we've managed to include things like summoning. So all of the pouch creation that you do, uh, training your summoning skill, all their XP will get doubled. My top tip for summoning. Get Spirit Kayak pouches now in advance. Use these to quickly access the Piscatorius Summoning Obelisk. This will save you much valuable time and maximise your XP gain per hour. For Dungeoneering this weekend, make sure that you've done all of your smaller floors and that you've only got your larger floors left to do. This will allow you to use all your bonus XP on your large floors, reset and go straight back to the large floors again, maximising your bonus XP. If you're not bothered by cost or profit over the weekend, try dropping or alking your resources as you go. At least that way you save time running from the bank and you gain additional XP and skills like such as magic. Members can look forward to receiving double XP for the entirety of the weekend and free players will receive 1.2 times their normal XP so it's a 20% increase to the XP they get for all their standard activities. Player tip from First Nights. Don't forget to get all of your resources from the Citadel because they count as double XP. My top tip is about farming. Make sure that you've filled all of your tree patches and your fruit tree patches well before the weekend so they're at the point where they're ready to check their health to get the XP. If you do it beforehand then the first thing you can do is log in to Double XP Weekend, check your trees and you'll get loads of XP. If you time it right you should be able to get two or three sets of trees in before the weekend's up. Make use of cannons. I know they can be annoying sometimes but they certainly do speed up training. There's a link that's appeared on the bottom of the screen now. If you follow that link, you'll find an FAQ which answers all the questions about what things do and don't work in the Double XP weekend. Luke Plank from the forum suggests, buy the ore you want or reclaim it before the weekend. Remember, if you reclaim it, it has a cooldown timer, so it won't work straight away. My tip is for Slayer. You want to use the NPC contact spell to access Slayer Masters from within the Slayer dungeon. This will help increase your experience rates by cutting down travel time. The NPC contact spell can be got from finishing quests on the Lunar Isle. My tip for Slayer this weekend, and it might sound obvious, is have plenty of resources before you start. This will save you lots of money on pouches, pots and scrolls in the Grand Exchange! Tears of Guthix has long been a great source of XP and is the latest area of RuneScape to undergo the full makeover treatment. Check out the update first and find out why we're calling it the Super Bowl in next week's Behind the Scenes. 